So tell me, Dan, where are we exactly, and what are we looking for exactly? We're on some river around the corner from over yonder, and we're looking for stuff. Big stuff, little stuff? All kinds of stuff. I'm looking for big stuff. I don't want little stuff. Big iron stuff. Big iron stuff? Big iron stuff. Small yeah. gold pebbles. Small gold pebbles. <laughs> bags and bags of them. All right. This, this, this is our. This is the start of our annual on the river hunt. Was it three nights, four days? Three nights, four days. Three nights, four days. Forty miles. Forty miles. We loaded the bear. I have all my stuff. Stuff there. Beers in there. You like warm beer, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going down there, yonder. So what just happened, Dan? We ran into some locals. They go up the river right there. Ran into some locals. They told us about a cannon that might be in the water here. And there they go. A cannon. Another cannon story. Is it there? They said they found it. Well, didn't, didn't they say that sometimes it gets covered over again and... Sometimes it's about like this, and other times it's about like this. It's got a nice knob on the back of it. And sometimes you can't see it at all because it disappears into the sand. Sound familiar? And they've been trying for years to get it. Right. But anyway, it's right under that tree. Not that tree, but that tree. That tree? That tree. That tree. No, he said under that so tree. There's a giant cannon sticking under that right tree out. sticking right up. We're going to go over there and just stand on it right now. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And Bo's going to pick it up and put it right in the We're going to have fisticuffs over it? No. You sure? I don't know how this one works because nobody read it. I think yet. my pick is a lot sharper than your whatever you're using. I think I'm bigger. <laughs> but I'm faster, but I can't remember the cannon. All right, let's go get it. We'll just tie it like we'll put the cannon between the two boats yeah, and just make a little pontoon. Yeah, yeah, pontoon. Okay, let's do it. So I've worked my way along the bank here, and Dan is still on the other side of the tree. And there's no cannon that we can find, but it's over our heads. So that guy indicated it really wasn't all that deep. Look at this neat little ancient bowling ball. Isn't that weird looking? Look at that. Kind of reminds me of that thing I found the other day. Um, yeah, I think it's just a, a uh, concretion. There's another one here, but it's almost like a skull or a face sticking out there, doesn't it? Ah, lots of neat fossils here. These are all ancient fossils of uh, seashells and different things. They say there's a bunch of shark's teeth around here too, although I haven't seen any yet. We'll keep our eyes open for them. Any luck, Dan? No, none at all. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work my way around the edge here. Okay, well, yeah, Dan did get a uh, musket ball down there, so that's pretty neat. All right, back at it. I think I might have found a big shark's tooth. Do what? I think it's a shark's tooth right there. Look at that thing. See it? Right in the middle. Let's see if I can grab it with a paddle. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Back here. Back here, you. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, look at that. Let's give it a bath. Look at these snapper turtles down there. That's a beauty, huh? Nice. That's one of the biggest, definitely the biggest one I found in Virginia. If if we're in Virginia, check it out, man. It's complete. You can tell he's not overly excited. He just uh, went underwater trying to get in his kayak. I'm finding relics. Well, not really relics. That's pretty awesome, though, huh? Hurry, Daniel. Porpoising. This is our camp for night one. We actually stopped a little bit early because um, this is probably the last really nice spot to set up camp. We didn't find a whole lot today. This is my best find. This is a uh, fossilized shark's tooth. It's actually a pretty nice one. Uh, Dan found a couple odds and ends, but nothing too great yet today. But we're not in the good spot yet. Tomorrow is another day. We're going to do really, really good tomorrow for sure. You have high hopes for tomorrow, Dan. And what we're going to do is take a walk up along the 
sand bank here and see what kind of tracks we can find to see who is going to visit us tonight. Dan has a little fire going already. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's 100 degrees out here, but he's got a fire going. Well, first we have the Sam Squanch right there. We got some deer tracks. I might see some deer tonight. And some raccoon. These are raccoon tracks. Look at that. He'll be out here for sure. They're always around camps. Oh no. There's some more um, raccoon tracks there. Some birdie. You don't have to worry about the birdie tonight. Right. Here's a beaver track. We're headed down to the water. See this great big uh, toes right here. That giant foot. That's just a whole foot right there. He went down into the water. So we might hear the beaver tonight splashing around. It's a Bergen Civil War, isn't it? Colonial? <laughs> you know what this orange muck is? Yeah, very good. It's actually where it's leaching out of the old, old ancient trees and the stumps and stuff that are up buried in there. It leaches out. Looks very yucky, but it's just uh, natural stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a little fishy that didn't make it. Branches are coming out of the trees. You can hear them snapping, hitting the water down there. We like, had you know, a <laughs> <laughs> We had a near-death experience. They brought the song out of Dan. <laughs> 